Hello, my name is Ricky G, and this is my conic sections project for an ellipse. Here we have some real life examples of an ellipse. Um, a football, very common. Um, if we don't like football, we're playing it, so anyone can relate to this. The next one looks like some kind of metal sink or drain. And this looks like a con uh, some kind of aluminum container, probably for a hot dog. The next one here is a field and the Batman signal or logo. And finally, a table. Okay, here in the figure, we see an ellipse. Um, an ellipse is defined as a conic section, which is essentially a stretched circle. Formally, an, e an ellipse can be defined as follows. For two given points, the foci, an ellipse is the focus of points such that the sum of the distance to each focus is constant. Um, what this is basically saying is that for any xy point on the ellipse, d1 and d2 will be constant and will be equal throughout. So if you chose that point on the other end of the circle, the distance from d1 to the distance from d2 would be the exact same um, distance from the one you see depicted in the picture. Uh, for this particular ellipse, the equation is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Um, this is basically what I was just saying before. Um, when we talk about an ellipse, we do have to get some definitions down first. Um, the foci are two fixed points equidistant from the center of the ellipse. Um, the vertices are the points on the ellipse that fall on the, f on the line containing the foci. The line segment or core joining the vertices is known as the major axis. The midpoint of the major axis is the center uh, or the origin. Here it is 0, 0 and the axis perpendicular to the major axis is the minor axis. Um, again, this uh, equation pops up. It's x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Um, that's the equation for an ellipse with the origin 0, 0. Here in the picture, we see the two foci, um, the major and minor axis. Um, the major axis here is the x-axis, and you see both vertices on both ends. Here we have an example of an ellipse with the origin 0, 0. Uh, given the, the ellipse with the equation x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 equals 1, we do see that the x term does have the larger value, so we do know that the major axis here is the x-axis. And um, just looking at the picture, we know that negative a0 and a0 are going to be the vertices. So we just got to find the square root of the, the a squared term, which is 9. Um, so the square root of 9 is 3. So we know that um, negative 3, 0 is the vertice on the left side, and 3, positive 3, and 0 is the vertice on the right side. Now to find the y-intercepts, or the co-vertices, we just take the square root of the b term, which is 2, and uh, the y-coordinates are going to be 0, 2, and 0, negative 2. Um, we do have to find the foci, and the foci equation is given as c squared equals a squared minus b squared. Um, you just fill in the, the value, so it's going to be 9 minus 4 equals 5. So c squared equals plus or minus the square root of 5. Uh, here we have an example of an ellipse with the y major axis, um, x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. Um, the x-intercepts are plus or minus b and 0, and the y-intercepts are 0 plus or minus a. And the co-vertices are negative b0 and b0. Um, the foci always lie on the major axis, so here you do see it on the y-axis, and the center also seen is 0, 0. Okay, here we have the ellipse equations for a center other than 0, 0. Um, for the vertical major axis, we have x minus h squared over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. Um, if the major axis is on the horizontal axis or the x-axis, the equation is as follows. x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Here we have an example of an ellipse um, with the center at h, k. Here we see that the center is negative 3 and positive 2. Um, just from the image, we can tell that the major axis is parallel to the x-axis and has a length of 12 units. So A 
has to equal half of that, which is 6. And in order to find the vertex on the right and the vertex on the left, we just do plus or minus 6 in either direction. So negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3. So the vertex on the right is positive 3 and 2. And negative 3 plus negative 6 is negative 9. So the vertex on the left would be negative 9, 2. And now using the horizontal major axis equation as shown here, uh, we just fill in our values for h, k, a, and b. So when we fill in the values and simplify the equation, we get x plus 3 squared over 36 plus y minus 2 squared over 9 equals 1. Um, that's a simplified equation. And now to find the foci, we use the equation c squared equals a squared minus b squared. Um, and that is 36 minus 9, which gives you 27. Since it is a squared term, we have to take the square root of 27, which can be simplified to 3 times the square root of 3. And that will give you the focus on the right and the focus on the left, as shown below. And here, my plans for the next two years is to graduate with a bachelor's degree. Um, my field is biomedical science. I want to continue on to pharmacy or medical school. Thank you for watching.